name's Laura Moran Bailey. I'm the co-writer, co-producer of Portrait of a Zombie. The film is a mockumentary horror film about um, a working class family in Ireland whose son becomes a zombie and instead of killing him, they decide to look after him. Uh, much to the chagrin of the neighbors and the local crime boss who kind of get involved. And along the way, they decide to invite an American film crew to um, document what's going on in their home and that leads to all kinds of mayhem and hilarity. My husband, the director, Bing Bailey, uh, he's from Dublin originally. Um, he actually got to shoot on the film that he grew on the street he grew up in. So, um, you know, basically we were looking for a place to shoot a horror film and we started thinking about how the Irish just kind of roll with the punches in, in kind of a really funny way and that, you know, to them zombies would just be another thing to deal with, like unemployment and you know, whatever. So that kind of made it into a comedy more than like a straightforward horror. I'm from uh, Richmond, Virginia. Um, the director being Bailey is from Ireland, as I said, and uh, most of the cast was Irish. We had one American cast member, so we like to kind of mix American and Europeans and like everything we do and just to make it more interesting, for sure. That was my husband's idea, you know, him, he's the horror fan. He's the one from Ireland, um, but it was a challenge for me because I had mostly written dramas to work on a horror film. I was, it's kind of that resistance, I think, that makes it a different film, you know. So it's sort of got a little bit more character-driven story than perhaps a lot of horror films would have. It's really fun, you know, working together. We have a lot of arguments over who came up with what idea, usually because we came up with it at exactly the same time in a conversation, but we'll argue to the end about whose idea what was. And um, But no, it's great to share that creative, you know, rush with the person you're Married to, absolutely. Horror is very popular. Um, uh, we are just at Galway, and half of the films there were horror. So it's like become a really major genre. It's, it's a new political avenue, social, political, um, the way science fiction kind of was in the 70s. I think horror now is a way to express social issues and things like that. I think, you know, what makes the film special is that, in a way, it's not a horror film. It's, you know, it has, um, art house elements in it like mockumentary and social satire and a lot of humor and so if you're not into horror films you can go and have a really good time and if you are horror fans at the end of the day people still get ripped up in guts and there's all that kind of great stuff and there's some very brutal scenes in it but uh, if you're an intellectual and you want to pretend you don't like horror films that's fine you can go and at the end of the day the child in you will still enjoy sort of some of the violence in it too like all independent films um, locations always like really difficult um, especially when you can't pay the big bucks, you know, so you turn up at a location and all of a sudden the person doesn't want you to shoot there anymore. So we went through about four or five hospital locations. Um, finally, I think we found a dental clinic that would just let us in at the last minute to shoot some stuff, but it, it becomes very difficult to kind of renegotiate things on the fly. It's actually our second feature. This is the first feature that's actually um, been going to festivals and kind of that successful kind of thing. We're so excited to be here, you know, like We've been in a lot of horror festivals and that's really fun too, but it's really the mainstream festivals that we kind of get really excited about, you know, because it's a crossover film, it's not just a horror film at all. London is just, it's great, you know, I've just been walking around and people are so supportive of, of the arts around here and just to meet with other filmmakers and, you know, it's a, it's a glamorous city, it's a great place to be.